Now, this is going to be a video response to a video I saw the other day, uh, Stephen Jackson. I think people hate on Stephen Jackson because he's opinionated and he's not afraid to speak his mind. Now, me personally, I actually, I actually like that about him because I'm the same way and sometimes I have no filter. If you're a very opinionated person, sometimes you can rub people the wrong way and not even know it. So now it's like um, I'm very cautious about what I say when I'm around certain people. I just try to, you know, because I don't, cause I don't want people to like take things the wrong way. So, for the most part, I try not to go around ruffling feathers. If you dig what I'm saying. Now, in this video, he was giving relationship advice. He's basically saying that if you someday decide to get married and start a family, you should only have children with one person, and if it's possible, you should try to avoid having children by multiple women because if you do. Um, there's a good chance that could lead to problems in the future. Now, in his case, he said he has kids by five different women. And out of the five women, there's three of his exes who's given him a lot of problems. And it's to the point where they're making his life a living hell. And he totally regrets meeting these women at all. Also, he talks about how a bitter ex-girlfriend will try to destroy your life because they're unhappy. And in his case, um... It's all about the money because he played in the NBA for 14 years. So I'm guessing um, by him not wanting to be with these women anymore, maybe they decided to try to milk his pockets, you know, and it got to the point where, you know, he's spending millions of dollars, you know, paying child support. And nowadays, when you date someone that doesn't really have much going on in their life and you have a child with that person and you're a celebrity, you know, you have millions of dollars, it's a pretty good chance that person is going to try to take you to the cleaners. And by cleaners, I mean, they're going to try to wipe, wipe you out, break you, empty your pockets. And that's why I think if you're a successful person, you have to be careful no matter what, regardless of how much money you have. You don't I mean, you don't have to be a celebrity to have a lot of money. But even if you're just a successful person, you have to be careful about who you decide to get involved with, because if you don't really know that person and you're moving too fast in the beginning. There's no guarantee that it's going to work out in the long run. And, you know, um, so you just kind of have to make a got to make smart decisions in the beginning if you want the, the best possible outcome. At least that's how it's been, you know, through my experience, not just my personal experience, but just from when I was growing up, just watching other people, just observing other relationships, whether it be family members or friends or coworkers, and just seeing, you know, sometimes, you know, relationships, they, you know, they fell for a number of reasons. And I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I made the choices that I made when I was younger. I didn't even start having children until I was in my 30s. Like I had my son when I was 33 and I had my daughter at 36. And that was because I wanted to do things the right way. I basically wanted to do what, you know, what he said in the video. I wanted to get married first. Well, I wanted to find the right person, get married and start a family with that person. It didn't happen that way, but, you know, um, you know, it just didn't work out. But I was, you know, I was with the mother of my kids for four years. And we just realized that we made we made better friends than partners. So now we co-parent and we get along pretty well. I mean, there's no no resentment or bitterness and you know we don't like hate each other or anything like that um we get along pretty well and you know we co-parent and our kids are happy and that's pretty much what it boils down to at the end of the day i mean you want to you want to create a like a happy positive environment for your family and you want to you know you want your kids to be happy but also you know the mother of your you know, the mother of your kids you know if you can find a way to kind of resolve your differences and get along then you want to be able to coexist with each other you know and also before i go i just wanted to insert one more thing it's not a black or white thing because he did he did mention race um, well, when he said black black women. So I'm assuming his exes are probably all black women. And he said, yeah, you know, black women are like this. They're like that. Um, I don't really think I don't really think it's a race thing. So it doesn't matter if the woman's black or white. It's more of an individual thing. I mean, like some people are just like that. Not all, not all women are like that. Not all men are like that, you know, because, you know, I've seen situations where, you know, guys can be pretty petty, too. You know, saying there's a lot of men out there that. You know, maybe they, they hate their exes because they moved on and they found a better guy, a better man that probably treated them better. You know, you know, they probably did what they're supposed to do to make the relationship work. And they were just overall just a better man. And, you know, guys can be pretty bitter and petty, too. So um, it's, it's always I think it's always an individual thing and everyone's not like that. It's only certain people that are like that.